We're at Pacific Seafood today, and Susie is going to break down a mahi-mahi for us. First step is to cut through the skin, all the way down the back, and then go into the collar. She'll cut around the collar, and you'll notice the angle here. She's coming in pretty steep angle in order to get the meat underneath the collar. Now back down to the tail end, carefully sliding her knife along the bone. And you'll notice that with her thumb, she's lifting the meat, lifting the fillet, so that she can glide the knife along the bone without hitting the flesh. Back up the collar, a little bit of trim. And slowly she's working her way to the backbone itself, to the spine. And now changing the angle on her knife to come down the back side of the spine. So now she's got the entire top side of the fillet removed. She's changing her angle, cutting through the ribs, and now working on the belly side of the fillet. Again, sliding that knife along the uh, back bones. Nice smooth motions. You notice she's not sawing the knife. Okay, right at the anal fin, she broke through and is cutting through the anal fin uh, bones there. Sometimes called the anal spine. And there's one fillet removed. Flipping it over, she's got the collar she's working on first. Lifting it up so she can get another angle, going underneath the collar to pick up some of that meat. Slicing through the skin first so she can get access to the flesh and the uh, backbones. Again, picking up the flesh with her thumb and gliding her knife along. Nice smooth motions. Slowly working her way down the top side of the fillet to the spine itself. And now breaking through the rib bones, still coming down on the top side of the rib bones though, you'll notice here in a moment. So now she's got the entire top fillet freed up. She's working on the belly side of the fillet, which is at the other end of the spine. Mahi Mahi does have some additional bones compared to salmon and so on right there. Again, at the anal fin, coming down and breaking through the anal fin bones or the anal spine. And then finishing up, taking that fillet off. She's back at the rib bones, gliding her knife along the top of the ribs so that she slowly removes the meat. And there you have two sides.
Now as we work on the fillet, first she's going to trim off some of the, the belly meat there. Watch her hands as she makes the cut on the tail to grab the skin. Grabs the tail, pulls the skin taut, switches her grip, and now pulls on the skin and slides the knife. The trick is to pull on the skin and slide the knife at the same time. You'll notice that there's no sawing action. So again, a little trim on the belly meat. Steep angle coming straight down to the skin. Gets a start on the cut. Grabs so that she can get a little more skin. Switches her grip and again pulls the knife straight through. No sawing. And there you have a beautiful mahi-mahi flayed up and ready to go.